In this video, we'll balance the equation calcium nitrate plus sodium phosphate. So this is a double displacement reaction. The calcium and the sodium, they're going to switch places. We'll use a bit of a trick to balance this equation that'll make it a lot easier and a lot more accurate. So let's count the atoms up on each side. We have one calcium, and then this NO3. It's a polyatomic ion. It's called the nitrate ion. We have NO3 here, and we have a nitrate ion here. So we can count this nitrate ion as just one thing. So we have one nitrate ion times two. That'll give us a total of two of these nitrate ions. Sodium, we have three of those. And again, phosphate and phosphate. So we have one of the PO4s. So you see this is a lot neater than counting up all the individual atoms. On the product side, we have three calcium, one nitrate, one sodium, and two of these phosphate ions. Let's just start by balancing the calcium because we could put a three in front of the calcium nitrate. One times three, that would give us three of those. So the calciums would be balanced. And then for the nitrates, we have two times the one. So we have two of these times three. That'll give us six nitrates. And let's see what we can do next. Let's balance the nitrates next. We could put a six in front of the sodium nitrate. So the one nitrate times the six, that would give us six. So those would be balanced one sodium times six. So now we have six sodium atoms. We could just double the Na3PO4, the sodium phosphate, by putting a two in front of this, three times two, that'd give us six. So that would fix the sodiums, and then one phosphate times two, that would give us two phosphates, so they are balanced, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So when we have polyatomic ions like nitrate, NO3 here and here, we can just count that as one item. It makes it a lot easier, a lot more accurate, and you get the same answer. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CaNO32 plus Na3PO4. Thanks for watching.